She's a miracle baby. She's very strong. For her age, she's very tough. She endured a lot. Morella first came to Blythedale at three months of age, um, and she was admitted to the acute care side of the hospital. She had decreased tone, needed help with her breathing. She was on a ventilator and couldn't eat. She needed to be tube fed. She has hypotonia, probably due to some genetic abnormality that has been identified. Mirella's case is very rare and it's like one out of 4,000 babies. Most of the parents, they have dreams for their child. They want them to be a basketball player, and a lawyer. But for us, as simple as we only wish for normalcy for our child. After hearing from her doctor that she will be one of the first batch mm -hmm. of the long term, it's like the light of the tunnel. She's now able to be off the ventilator for 14 or 16 hours at a time. She's growing well. She's sufficiently flexible that she can get her right toe in particular right up to her mouth. She's rolling in the bed. She um, is bringing her hands to midline, holding toys, very socially um, engaged and aware of the world. We're just amazed on how much she improved so much yes. from day one to the present time, especially with her hypotonia. We remember the time that she can even hold the rattle, yes. but right now sure. she's the boss. Aside from that, they teach us how to take care of her eventually when she comes home so we have the confidence to, you know, to do the suctioning and all the stuff that she needs the most. I really think this is a wonderful facility, quite unique. It is a, a home away from home, but that the mindset is that when possible, we look to send the children back to their family. Where we started, we were trying to really work on her playing and sitting and having more head control. So she's come a really long way. Cognitively, she's also gaining an awareness of, hey, this is my environment and I can interact with it. And there's a lot of things that are out of Morello's control, medically speaking. And I think being able to give her more control to show her I have the power to participate in the things that I want to participate in is really important. We're now using her passive valve so that she can help to speak. She's certainly vocalizing, which is nice. So I'm doing the voice, I'm doing the sign a little bit, as well as the pictures. So it's just to keep enhancing her communication and so that she can talk to all of the caregivers and her family in some way. It also helps enhance her feeding skills because she will now be able to smell the food and taste it better and understand that it's something pleasurable. All of us on the unit, we're here to try to improve and promote progress as best we can. And it's never just about keeping the child just comfortable or maintaining what they have. It's always about what's the next step and where can we go from here. She's our first baby, and as of now, she's actually our life. We just can't wait on the day that she'll be whole. That will be the best day of our life. There are now children who've come into the unit in the year that we've been open, who have continued to make gains enough while here at the Blythedale Long-Term Care Facility that have enabled them to go home for the first time. When you combine tender loving care and science for the children. It's just amazing.